Okay. Wow. All right, thank you everyone for joining us. You're Chef Dave. Hey, hi, I'm Chef Dave. Today we're going to do some fun with pasta. We'll talk about pasta a little bit, not too much, but we'll eat some pasta and do a couple different things. I'm going to do a couple things here. One, I'm going to do a grilled cauliflower with a pasta, and it has a lot of nice ingredients in there, optional ingredients, which you can throw into. And the other thing I'm going to do is a pappadelli, which is a really, it's a wide noodle. And I'm going to roast off tomatoes. <coughs> And I'll get those. I should put this in the oven. Put it up here a minute. I'll get that on. Let me get that hot back there for the other noodles. And we're going to, so this is a mixture. We'll start things a little strange here. We got a mixture here of thyme, paprika, pepper, and garlic powder. Okay. And a little bit of that on here. Yes, you notice I have more than I need because there's a method to that madness. Because over here, I have some shrimp, and I'm going to put the same spice on that. Okay. Okay. Did you bring your own ice? Huh? Did you bring your own ice, or did you see my ice? Make my own what? Ice, your ice. No, I swiped your ice. Okay, good, good. <laughs> we have ice now. I made sure to have it for you tonight. And <laughs> <laughs> I have any ice. Okay, so this is this is the hard part right here, doing this without spilling it on the floor. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Time. Okay. I have to Let's stir see. it or something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I want it to be, but it'll be fine. That's yeah, getting warm. This over here, this pan here, we're going to start roasting our tomatoes and our garlic. Sorry about my back to you. Putting the garlic in with the whole clove. And they've been washed. And so let them roast off in here as well. A little bit four, that's a nice odd number. And because I had some red peppers at home, I'm going to throw them in too. It's not only a recipe, but you know, recipes are a guideline, and that's fine. The other ingredients we have for this, we have the macaroni salad, which we'll do in a minute. That's going to get hot. I'm going to have to remember not to grab that pan with a bare hand. It'll talk to me. Hey, did you get the spin on the garlic? I'm going to turn this fan on just so we fill the air a little bit, please. Sorry, it's a bit a little noisy. I apologize. So we're noticing that you didn't peel the garlic. Huh? We're noticing that you didn't peel the garlic. No, I didn't. So what you do, you go roast with the skin on it, and that way it caramelizes and becomes really sweet. Huh. And then you take it and match, cut it and match it out. And then you make your papadelli, your papadelli sauce. <laughs> That's the thing about 15 or 20 minutes. Okay. Rule of thumb for all pasta is about a gallon of water per pound of pasta. Right, that way it doesn't, it has plenty of, plenty of room to float around and to do things. Otherwise, the pasta will congeal and you'll have yourself a big, terrible mess. Yeah. That's always a good thing to think about. Pasta, why this is taking care of itself over here. Now, the one recipe with the cauliflower is using uh, a store bought pasta. But you can use fresh pasta for that as well, whatever you can. We have our flour. We have our eggs. And this is where it becomes lots of fun when you do it by hand. You get a right hand or left hand. Under this one. Okay. Yeah, move that. Can we okay. move that white thing? Huh? Oh, move move that white thing. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Move the people. Okay. You had beaten that egg? Oh, yeah, I'll beat it up a little bit. Now, this is the chopping board that I had on the dishwasher back in the 80s, I believe it is. The dishwasher guy, but I kept the, I kept the board on top. It's a great board. Yeah, it is a great board. Thank you. And this is why this is a nuisance because. You just gotta work it a lot. Okay. 
You don't want to add too much because you want it to come together. I've got a plastic bench scraper and also have a metal bench scraper. I don't want to sandpaper the board. You don't need your you don't need your wood for the day. That's why there's no water added. Okay? And when you need your pot, so this is where you fill a cup of strength off. You use the palm of your hand and you go into it like that. Okay. And how much pasta does that bowl make? This is the half of the recipe. <clears throat> Okay, I gave you uh, the full recipe is three and a half cups. I used the half one for show and tell because I made the uh, pasta this morning, refrigerated it and brought it. You ah. need to let the pasta relax about half an hour, 45 minutes, because the pasta has gluten and the flour has gluten. And the gluten, that's a fun little thing. Because the gluten is like little strands. And when you make your pasta, all your strands are in one direction. When you cook the pasta, well, the protein shrink a little bit and bubble up. So later on, when I start rolling this dough, I'm going to laminate it. Run it through one way, fold it, run it through the other way. So you got all your pasta strains, all your gluten strains going in one direction. Well, that would be going in different directions. And so when they bunch up, they will bunch up together, and you have a nice, smooth texture. You can do it the other way if you want to. You might get you might get some curlies on your pasta. It may not be as smooth and as wonderful. Okay, and then <clears throat> wrap this up in plastic or put it into a plastic bag and let it rest about half an hour to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Look at that. This is going to be fun. That was fast. Yeah. 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 That wasn't fast. <laughs> when you're in a hurry, your hands get wet. These are the worst things to try and put on. But you know, if somebody makes a whole lot of pasta, you can always look at their hands. There's no hair on their fingers or the back of their hands. You know, if you work in the pasta, oh, wow. <laughs> the sure. pasta will take the hair off. Another thing the pasta will do, which is really, really nice, it will clean all the nooks and crannies in your hand. <laughs> so if you have any dirt <clears throat> in your hand, oh. if you work with pasta, next thing you know, your hands will be nice and soft and clean. And everything gives in the thing. So for little specs, just call it pepper. <laughs> so for a huh? um, for a beginner, yeah. um, which method of um, making the dough um, do you think is best? Doing it by hand the way you just did it, or putting it in the mixer it with the dough? What you're making, if you're making a very small batch, making it by hand is quite easy. If you're making a larger batch, you may want to use a machine. The directions I gave you on the recipe are used for the uh, Hobart KitchenAid machine. Mm -hmm. and the dough book that goes around, beats it up, right. gets it all together. And then you have to work it a little bit just to smooth it out. Mm -hmm. Then you refrigerate it. So this has been refrigerated for a nice period of time. <coughs> Bless you. A nice smooth texture. Flowers over here. Now it changed colors. It does a little bug because it's it's changed color going because it's refrigerated and the eggs. That this would be the same color, it's the same recipe, just a smaller amount that color.
Okay, the fun part. We're going to start laminating the dough. Push it down a little bit so it actually fits to the machine. And if the pasta dough should not stick to your hands, sometimes people will make it and it's there. You don't want to do that. We will run through here a couple of times and then it's nice and smooth. Open and freeze and then run it the other direction. It's not coming out as pasta. Hmm? It's, it's not coming, coming out as pasta. Do what? Oh, it's not coming out as pasta. Well, it's not coming out as pasta. 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 It's I like doing it about five times. Anybody counting? Okay. I'm going to take it down a notch. You know, I don't laminate after I start bringing it down. Longer in there. This is very therapeutic. <laughs> yes. I like you enjoy watching this. Yes. I'm like, uh, okay. what, what thickness do you have that set at now? Right now, I'm at number five. Okay. Seven. I like this machine, it's a nice one. Eight, see how far we can get him before we start messing up. How often would you um, make it this way? Hmm? How often would you personally make it this way? I, I used to do it with my kids a whole lot. <sighs> Now that I have the new machine, which works really good, I'll probably start doing more of the home again. Holding action there. <laughs> Read new papers yet? Uh, we'll take it down to number nine, more. all the way down to the, the okay. lowest. <laughs> so there you go, even almost transparent. That's what you're looking for. You make a pop of jelly, you roll it up, flour it, roll it up. Here's the same thing this guy. Don't worry about the extra flour in there. Okay. So if you wanted it as spaghetti. You want that spaghetti? You use spaghetti, spaghetti attachment. But you still have to do this first, right? Uh, but you still have to go through this process yeah, of making it really the thin, and then That's you correct. put it through spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I see the box, so I think it's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> You ever had puppy deli? No. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I never heard of it either. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole lot I haven't heard of. <laughs> yeah, right. I, you know, I think we did it. <laughs> I love you This is the boring part, I'm sorry. But it's not. <laughs> huh? It's not, though. So the puppy deli is easy because you just fold you just fold them up and put them off to the side. Yeah. But um, if you were if you were gonna make you know fettuccine or spaghetti or something fettuccine. out of that, you would have just had to take that, to that long thickness. sheet and mm -hmm. hold it off to the side. And I would use the other cutter and run it through that way. Yeah. So you can have long pieces of pasta hanging around. You, you could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your arm gets a nice workout. Hmm? Your arm gets a nice workout. Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Down to nine. Take <laughs> I just have it all crumpled up. The nice thing about this, you're rolling the dough, you're not stretching it. Uh -huh. If you stretch it, it'll come back at you. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> yeah, well, I think you can make you can use this mm -hmm. to make ravioli. Yeah. yeah. And got uh, maybe even blitzes. <laughs> What are you guys doing there? Oh, you're doing one of them. Okay. You don't talk to your food? Huh? I don't know. I don't talk to my food. You don't? No. I would just tell it to not put the pallets on. It makes people wonder about you if you talk to them. <laughs> When did you know that cooking was your thing? Oh, when I was probably in high school. We used to always watch my mom cook, and it was pretty, it was pretty worthwhile. And um, she was really sick, had a collapsed lung, and nearly died. There was a pneumonia thing involved with it many years ago. So actually, I uh, always watched her bake pies and stuff like that. Later upon, my dad took it in, 
and he swore that she got better care. Because <laughs> yeah. And she was she lived a healthy long life, let me tell you. And bringing this water back up to the boil. Meantime. <clears throat> Oh, we got a jumper. Okay. This is the fun part. Optional olives. Yeah. And a little bit of uh, parsley. Okay. A lot of parsley, not parsley, too much. Okay. And we need some, need some cucumbers. The other chopping board, but couldn't find it. This is an old fashioned, oh gosh, yes. very old yeah. fashioned, but it works so good. Really? Yeah. Get a good one. Oh, you guys, you gotta have a good huh? one. You got a good one. If it's oh, yeah, not been a good for a one, long time. it's like, ugh. The nice thing about it is you can, it's left handed and right handed. It's ambidextrous. The best part about it is. <laughs> That when you cut it in half, you've got an automatic de-seeder. We never did that. Wow. We never did either. That's why the old things are good. Oh, no. How about that? Is that why it was made originally? Hmm? Or did you just come up? Is that why it was? It was no, I've been doing this for many, many, many years. Wow. Yeah. And uh, so you can probably you can bring this down. And that can go in here as well. And we need some sauce for this. <laughs> Let me get rid of this and use this as my mixing bowl. Brand new jar, but I should have opened this up ahead of time. It's always so messy to open. Hmm? It's always so messy. Oh, yes, it is. But it's so good. The table's going to go. Yes, the whisk would have been faster and easier. I heard somebody thinking that. <laughs> 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 we have it, so we'll do it. Okay, no rules. Yeah, that looks right. good. Huh? That looks good. Yeah, a little bit of freshly grated parmesan. Oh yeah, put the whole thing. Everybody in. okay with that? Yeah, I'll yeah. survive. Oh, I'll survive. Oh. Oh. Hey, that is gorgeous. 
You salt your pasta water. Mm -hmm. You salt your pasta water. Mm -hmm. Dump it. <laughs> Don't be cheesy with it. <laughs> we have another dish to use. <laughs> Uh, that is really... What do you do with the, what do you do with the little ends of the cucumbers? Grind them up. Grind them up. Garbage disposal. I like to eat them. Mm -hmm. I like to eat them. He's going to make a rose or something out of it. Again. Okay, we have water. Yes, we have boiling water. That was very important. Make a hot jelly. This is the hard part. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so He's joking. <laughs> huh? Enough flour on it to come apart. <laughs> okay. You want to open it up before you put it into the water. Otherwise, it may not open in the water and you get a big boom. And also, the colder this is, the better it works too. So, if it gets a little bit warm, you didn't work fast enough, we should refrigerate it. And the recipe says to time the tomatoes as they come out. Mm -hmm. Let's do this first. Mm -hmm. Oh, That's a small steam though. Yeah, that garlic comes out of there. Just cut it in half, smash it right out. Large clothes it didn't quite cash all the way. It goes through it. Nice thing about fresh pasta. 
might take a couple, three minutes to go. Now, if you have a problem with the tomato seeds, if you have a problem with tomato seeds or tomato skins, you know, if you crush tomatoes, you seed them, take the skin off and use them as well. It also works perfectly. And then roast them in the oven. And you will do. Okay, one thing you'll notice is I'm working next to each other here. That's finishing. Close these guys up. Mm -hmm. Now you have too much pasta. There's other such thing as too much pasta. No. When you get to this stage here, you can take it and freeze it. And then the lead is lost. Open it up to the that. You could still put those in now, right? Straight from the pot into the pan. Okay. So um, you can't. You were saying that you can't refrigerate the pasta. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You're saying you can't refrigerate the pasta because the egg will oxidize. Yeah, I would freeze it. But once it's cooked, yeah, you can refrigerate you leftovers, could, yes. right? Okay. After all that work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I live alone. <laughs> leftovers are my life. <laughs> <laughs> Now you also have leftover dough. Yes, I do. So what can you do with that? It's my dinner tonight. Oh. <laughs> Yay. She could freeze that. Could you, you could freeze that too, mm -hmm. couldn't you? Yep. Maybe it's the type of thing where if you're making fresh pasta, like just make an extra dough ball or two for your freezer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Is more better? <laughs> that is not good in here. And you notice I'm not worried about getting some of the pasta water in here? Why not? Because why? Why not? <laughs> because actually, it helps keep everything nice and moist. Uh -huh. Because when you're cooking the tomatoes, you're dehydrating them, and they have a tendency to dry out. And this way, they'll the uh, pasta will help re the wet pasta will help rehydrate them. And because you have cooked them, it's actually condensing the flavors, which is nice also. Can you give me a platter, please, and we'll put this on. <clears throat> Is that a pasta recipe for crab for a flat plate or a bowl? Anything. Um, like mm -hmm. a half There's a whole bowl there. Half, like um, I mean, pasta yeah. water. Mm -hmm. In the recipe. Oh. It's like there's a lot of flavor in there. Mm -hmm. And now it says she. Now we, that's why we kept a little bit of the cheese back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'll do cheese on half side. 
It's so good. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not, I'm not worrying about it today. Okay. <clears throat> then we have our two dishes. Gorgeous. I cannot believe how fast we did that. That was wow. 40 well, minutes. Well, the important thing with being fast is make sure you have all your ingredients. Yeah. You know, as long as you have all your ingredients, you're good. Yeah. Because if I was going to do all these ingredients to cut them and cook them, cut them and cook them, cut them, we'd be here for another 45 minutes. You made now. the pasta, really, the noodles. Yeah. Really yeah. fast. That's the important yeah. thing, too, is to make it as thin as possible. This is a good one. Now, this pasta machine actually went better for the thinness than the ones I had in the past. Oh, okay. One thing, if you got grandkids or kids and you have Play-Doh in the house, trust me, the kids will figure out, wow, I can put the Play-Doh in this. It's going to roll out and be really neat. I uh, know. And then you don't know about it, and then you're making pasta that have oh, come no. out rainbow colors. You get crazy strength to color your pasta. Wow. Like, what the heck? Wow. But, you know, hey, kids just get, that's what my kids did to me. They did that. So, if you'd like to help yourself, please go for it. Yeah. All right. My pleasure. Let us put out the recording here. Thank you in TV land. Hope you enjoyed and hope you have success doing the recipes. Look at him on the screen. That's like a